going on guys? Jeff back with another video. Well, I pulled the trigger on a brand new monster mask and hands from Rock Bottom Novelties. I think you guys are going to really enjoy this review. So we're going to go back to the shop and do a nice review of this cool Super Beast outfit. All right, guys, here it is. The Rock Bottom Novelties Super Beast. Well, you guys have probably figured out by now I'm probably a big Art of Skinner fanboy. Uh, I have already a mask sculpted by him and my Super Space Wizard. So this is the second mask I own from Rock Bottom Novelties. This is the Super Beast. Now, um, the guys over at the Devil's Workshop had posted clay molds of this. A while back, I believe last year, uh, with an unfinished version of this. Um, so this is a pretty rad mask. I was I was excited when they announced that they were going to do this. And uh, yeah, it was a no-brainer when this dropped a few weeks ago um, for, for order on their site. I went ahead and ordered that up. I think this, the mask itself retails for around $79.99, and the hands retail for $39.99. Uh, the same price as the old uh, Super Space Wizard. Now, the mask is made by, obviously, Rock Bottom Novelties. Um, it is designed by Skinner, and it is sculpted by the amazing Aaron Lewis, who does a lot of really cool monster masks, and it's produced by uh, Zaygun Studios. So with the mask, you get the really cool, it comes with a really cool poly bag with this cool art card, you know, stapled. And then on the back, you get, you get all the details. This is mask four of a hundred. I'm always trying to shoot for one of a hundred, but uh, there's only a hundred of these produced. So this is uh, basically a collectible. The super hands or the, Super hands, I guess, yeah, they're called. Of course, they come with a cool poly bag. Um, this is the second set of super hands that I own. I believe they use the, um, I like this, do not operate, do not drive or operate heavy equipment while wearing hands. <laughs> yeah, you gotta put some, you gotta put some uh, <laughs> warnings on these. So, anyways. Cool packaging. I really like that. <clears throat> the mask itself is super dope. Um, let me get something to point it out here. You, know, you got your eye holes right here, so when you put it on, you can see you got your breathe holes, and then the mask is like really well painted. The eyes kind of have a nice, you know, slimy, wet feeling to them. Um, the whole sculpt is really, really cool. It's a one-piece mask sculpt. It has the fur sewn on back. Uh, I always like to look at this stuff because since I make my own cryptid and creatures, I always like to see how other people do their fur so maybe I can improve on my design. Um, get a close-up of those eyes for you. The sculpt to the mouth. Got the cool ears and then those awesome horns. And of course, the back is just uh, fur that fits over your head. It's a super simple mask. It's, uh, it's something that you would probably see back in the 1980s at your drugstore or your Kmart or whatever uh, when, the, when they used to make really good Halloween masks for kids. I had a lot of werewolf masks. I'm a big werewolf fan, by the way. Um, the hands are really cool. They're very similar to the other hands that I have for my Space Wizard. I, I don't, I'd have to get those out and look, but I'm pretty sure they just use the same latex mold and just do different paint decos of them. So you get the cool super hands with the red fur that matches the mask. One thing I learned with these masks, and if you guys are familiar with Halloween or monster masks, you get really, really hot in these things when you're, when you're, when you're active. When I wore my Super Space Wizard at Halloween, I got super hot. I was like basically pouring sweat out of the hands. And uh, I'm like, oh, this isn't good at all. So 
I only wear these for a few minutes at a time. I chase my son around the house with this on. And sometimes he chases me. So we have a lot of fun with these masks. It's one of my things I'm trying to do as a parent is get my son interested in different um, art genres. So maybe he can become creative and do some stuff like his dad. Jury's still out on that though. I've always been a creative person, so it's just something that was kind of in my blood. So he has a 50-50 chance. Um, anyways, it's, it's a cool mask. I, I didn't, uh, I planned on getting this probably when it came out, and I didn't know it was going to come out. I don't want to say that this is the last monster mask I'm going to get, because I know that the Devil's Workshop, I would like to get one of their premium latex masks at some point if I ever... Um, find one that I really want to add to my collection. Um, they're a little pricier. They're on around like two to three hundred dollars depending on what mask you get. But you know some of that stuff's just so cool that I don't mind dropping the coin on it as long as we take care of it and uh, keep it in our collection. You know it'll have some kind of value later on in life for us and it'll also be a really good talking piece which I think this is too. I just got to figure out now how I'm going to incorporate this into Halloween this year. So uh, the Wizard of Candy might have to be played by somebody else, and I might be scaring people with the Super Beast mask and gloves on. But anyways, I'll post a link to Rock Bottom Novelties in the description below, and I'll also post a link to uh, Pete at the Devil's Workshop, and you can check out both of those sites and get a really good idea of what these guys are all about um, i am a member of the the monster club at devil's workshop i bought a uh, shrunken head which you probably saw in the footsteps of giants it's one of my favorite things that that pete does at the devil's workshop i wish he'd do more shrunken heads but um this is the second mask i own from rock bottom novelties like i said along with the space wizard and i did win the golden scolo uh, this past year for Halloween for taking a picture with me and my son, which was really, really cool. I love to win things. And uh, other than that, this is just a cool mask. I just wanted to share this with you guys. Again, I know it's not G.I. Joe, but I do have a lot of really cool things on this in my collections that I really want to share with everybody. And I'm trying to kind of broaden my reach to people. I, this is a G.I. Joe channel, but I think it's important to know that I draw inspirations from G.I. Joe from a lot of other uh, things. So, and this being one of them, I love monsters. So you saw my Artist Skinner comic review for Skin Crawl. This is a, a mask inspired by the art of Skinner. And uh, I love it. I love rock bottom novelties. I'm a, I'm a lifelong fan. These guys do great work. Uh, they do great sculpts. The masks are cool and affordable. And I love having them in my collection. I'm just running out of room for stuff right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Hit the like and subscribe button. Obviously hit the notification icon. And look out. be on the lookout for more reviews coming in the near future. And until next time, guys, cheers.